Hi, how are you doing? Um, so these are my work boxes. So this material is being sorted and it's going to either go to U of H or to the Gregory School, depending on the, the topic and the subject matter. So a lot of this stuff are, represents files and materials from 30 years ago in my past research. So I'm real excited about that. This is my teaching. This is my, uh, I, I teach something called visual steam. And so I teach the art and science of light and photography uh, and then reinforce the science, technology, engineering, and the math behind it. So in this, uh, this piece right here, I'm working with a prism, uh, uh, stereo optics, and teaching about 3D, and they're kind of showing the evolution from the 1880s through current, and um, telescopes, so I introduced Galileo and the kids build their own uh, telescopes and lenses and things like that, so they learn about optics. Um, this is my other class project which I, I use uh, to teach cyanotypes and work with emulsions and, and teach some basic lab skills and lab work with that. I'll show you the other pieces, kind of like the big piece at the beginning of the project and then the big piece at the end uh, of those, those workshops. Uh, kids get to build their own digital cameras and then I've made a mobile camera obscura Okay, so this is stuff that uh, I'm packing to uh, that are donations for West Texas. We have what we hope will be a media tent, um, some equipment and things like that, uh, some books. Actually, one of the things that I do uh, for myself whenever I make a big trip, I go through all my old photo books that I have, and I remind myself of images, and kind of build up kind of a, again a, a vocabulary, and uh, look at the moments, and then kind of be mindful of them so they can become aware. So I, I'm a real big student of uh, building on uh, the past, you know, and, and, and kind of adding to the next generation of work. So if you have anything, uh, like I said, I leave next Monday. Uh, this equipment uh, and all this stuff will probably be traveling over the weekend or Monday, Tuesday to, uh, to West Texas uh, to be part of the cause there. So if you need anything, you can get it over to the warehouse, send me a message and I'll help get it over there. Also working with Houston Stands with Standing Rock and they'll be able to help you as well. Okay, let me show you another part of the warehouse. This is a teaching tool. This is my mobile camera obscura. This is a 140 year old camera lens that I've adapted to the front. As you can see, I've added some graphics here. So that you can see this is how the eye works. So you have their lens, light going through here and then it captures on the back. And so we're able to go in here and literally capture the focus in the air. So I'm going to show you and set this up for you, but I want to show you this graphic. Then we also have this graphic here that I used. So I'm going to show the map, but this shows how the impact of these apertures opening and how they have an impact on the what the picture looks like. The shutter speeds and the ISO as well. So this is a way of kind of visually uh, helping people kind of understand both the math that's behind uh, these things. Okay, and here's the third graphic here, showing a camera school, obscure drawing of camera obscure in use in the, uh, uh, in the uh, Middle Ages. So let's go ahead and set this up someplace where we can look. So what we're going to do, you can go ahead and bring your camera in here. Let's see this. You can kind of set it right here, so you can see. We captured the focus in the air. So that's an image that's coming through that little pinhole that we just made, or this there. And then I have, I change out the lenses. I can use a, a little pinhole, literally a straw sized hole to kind of show how light moves through there. And then I have some lenses. And the fun one is that I use a baggie of water and it functions as a lens as well. So the kids get to see this. This is actually a functioning camera too. I've sealed it, so I've actually made pictures through it as well. So my next generation is gonna be a little bit wider viewing area, and then having a, a little pulley to kind of, basically I'm gonna take a, an old uh, a tape measure and tie a string to it, and then being able to put that little assembly on there to kind of let it roll back and forth, so you know, kids gonna to have to have to reach in, they can just look through and see it. So this is a teaching tool that I've created to kind of help uh, educate people on a visual literacy. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> app that I use to uh, to map the route. So Houston, 
to West Texas, kind of marking the three locations of the camp so you, people have kind of a little sense of perspective on this. And my various notes, my attempts to organize myself. So camp to toilet bales there, trail deer, and two rivers. And the pipelines are cutting through all this area, just uh, just west of the Big Bang National Park and the State Park, and going to refineries in Mexico.